the first ingredients of an adventure, be somewhere you are not supposed to be. <laughs> you will find your adventure and you just gotta get out there. Okay, this is it. Oh man. That is something you have to take into consideration and make a priority for your family as well. We really do love them, not just for the hookups, right babe? The hookups make it better. <laughs> How did we never do this before? I don't know. Mission two is eating them. Mission two. <laughs> so. Still gonna get my spot. Oh, come on. Time to say goodbye. It's the worst. Always see you later. It's always see you later. We have seen them every year since we met them. For three years in a row, so we're just gonna keep that tradition going. That just gives us something to look forward to every time. <laughs> we are heading south. Ultimately, our goal right now is we have about three weeks to get down to Corpus Christi um, to my, that's really loud. <laughs> we'll wait for the truck to go by. Like I said, we have about three weeks to get down to my sister's in Corpus Christi to check out the new baby. Um, and we're gonna do something a little bit different. I guess that's a... Uh... Holy cow. <laughs> it's like perfect silence out yeah. here all morning long and the yeah. second we start to film there's some random truck. So a little while ago we had a talk with Changing Lanes on their channel and it was all about teenage kids and kids on the road yeah. and one of the big questions was do you get travel fatigue? Do they like to be filmed? Right. So we are going to do things a little differently. We are not going to film the next few things that we do just to uh, just to enjoy it. Obviously there'll be some film and some photos and all that just because it's our memories. That's right. But it's just gonna... We're just taking a little bit of a, a break. We're taking a little break. Because like he said, it is a question that comes up. Yep. Do the girls like to be filmed? They have no issues with it, but there are times where their issue is actually that we're very focused on it. Yes. So we're going to take some time as a family and travel and enjoy, and we will catch back up with you once we are headed towards, towards Texas and then on to Georgia for the getaway. So this happens a lot, but I just felt like we should probably say what we're gonna do because I think some of you may be worried, so. <laughs> We don't film every part of our we lives. Don't, no. It may appear that way, but there are a lot of times that we're not filming and a lot of times where we're just doing family time and we make that a priority. And if you are gonna travel with kids, that is something you have to take into consideration and make a priority for your family as well. Like I said, we do this all the time. We're just sharing it this time. All right, my babes. Oh. Goodbyes, goodbyes. I feel like it gets less hard every time. Because we, we just know. know. Corey and I just like, said that. Just, yeah, like I don't. We know it'll be time, back I was again. So sad. Like, crying. I know, like, it was like, bad. Yeah. It was bad. <laughs> <laughs> it just gets easier every time. Maybe the first time was sad, but not the I am first always first ready for those Nickersons to leave now. <laughs> Grant, it was oh a gosh. wonderful. I love you. It was such a good time. Not you. Not, not, not you. <laughs> <laughs> No, I love you too. You're the best. The best. And not because you have full hookup sweats. <laughs> it kind of puts oh, it a new level of good. Out there. Yeah. Like, we're a whole new level. Goofballs. Goofballs. All right. Love you all. Does win sometimes. Practicalness does take the cake. We really do love them, not just for the hookups, right, babe? Make it better. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm not proof better off in my own shoes. I ain't rushing, I ain't making no excuse. Taking my sweet time feels right. Living. Cause I know where I'm going I'm taking my sweet time
right, so we are in Panguitch, Utah, and we're going to Zion. We're at this RV park. It's called Paradise RV Park. It really doesn't get the best reviews, but I think it's awesome. Like, for the price and for what we've experienced, I think it's great. There's a weekly rate here for like 160 for full hookups. Yeah, and incredible service. That is pretty hard to beat. Yes, yeah. that was what we were after. We were after a break and we were after service and that's where we're at. So Paradise RV Park, it's a win in our book. <laughs> um, but we are on our way to Zion. Okay, so we were just talking about the uh, Paradise RV Park. Also, it is so close to Bryce and to Zion, which is why we're driving the design right now. That's right. I mentioned also before that we were just gonna take some time off and just kind of chill as a family. We've done that, and actually there's some more coming up. Um, <laughs> more chilling. More chilling coming up. That's why we stayed in the Penguin area a little longer than we expected, because we were able to pick up a week-long Bryce Canyon RV cancellation. So. Ever since we went to Bryce, three, two years ago, I can't even remember now, I saw that campground and I wanted to go back. And yes. just staying in a national park, it's really the best. So we yeah. are gonna film probably a day in there and, and show you some of the adventures, but we're just going to relax and enjoy all that Bryce has to offer. And we have never stayed in a national park campground for seven full days. Never. Uh, this year we did at Rocky Mountain like six, six. days, yep. but we moved three different times. <laughs> So, this is one site the one whole site. time, no moving, and just enjoying the campground and how close it is to the best parts of Bryce. Yes, because you can walk right to the brim, and that is what I'm really looking forward to. You know, nightly walks, daily hikes, and some astrophotography because that is a dark sky park, so mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to taking the time to do some photography. We have some crew members that we're going to try to go see. I'm not sure if, if uh, we're going to catch them or not, but we're going to try to go see some crew members while we're going into Zion today. I really, so really love this area. We did a swing by and checked out our campsite and it's gonna be the first time we're kind of in the woods, I think. So solar might be an issue, but we got our generator, we have our Lion Energy batteries, so if we have to charge those up for an hour a day, so be it, but those- <laughs> We'll make it work. It's gonna be awesome. We are on the Zion Mount Caramel Highway. This is another highway I've wanted to get on for quite some time. It's got a tunnel in it. You can take your RV, but I think the, the height restriction is 13.1, so that's a lot of fifth wheels that's right. out to start with. And if you do take your RV, there's probably a maximum of 50. I don't know what don't the know specs what are. Look it up. You can take your RV on it, but they it's a 35. There's some sort of charge involved. Right because they have to shut down two lane traffic so you can go through. I'm really looking forward to this road. We just started it. Uh, the views probably are about to start, so we're, we're excited. So that's the situation right now. I would have never thought in October we would be hitting traffic like this coming into the national park, but <laughs> Maybe this is peak time for Zion. That has never happened before. Did you enjoy your bathroom break? Uh, yeah, that just was the perfect timing. That's the first time we have ever waited at a national park entrance. Now we usually go there in the mornings or in the sure. evenings. We're in the evening right now. I have, I can't believe this. That was and it so wasn't, long. It was like, I don't even know, a tenth of a mile. <laughs> like a tenth of a mile. You could see Nobody the was moving. Save your questions for the visitor center. Wow, Sounds. this is gorgeous. We've never seen it this way before. And, oh my, that looks like the wave. Yeah, we've never oh. seen this before. Hey, let, let's show this while we're talking about it. Oh. Isn't that amazing? Oh, Come on. Wow. This is incredible. How did we never do this before? I don't know.
top five drive right there. Even though, like, you need to bring your patience, and I'm not just talking about um, the gate. Like, there's a there's a good chance you're gonna get stuck at the tunnel too. So our plan was to come in here, do a hike, go into town, get some sandwiches, and go back up there for the scenic overlook, small hike, and watch the sunset. First hike has been chopped. I don't think any of that's gonna happen. <laughs> I think there's weather coming in, and I don't even know if we're going to be able to make it back up there in for time. sunset. We're going to try it, but oh my gosh. It's beautiful no matter what. I just wanted to get a photo at sunset. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. The drive in the day has already been spectacular oh, and way yes. beyond what we were anticipating coming in here. So, point forward real quick. That is the Watchman right there. That is Watchman. We stayed right under Watchman in Watchman Campground. Oh. Even though we already got it, we had to get another sign photo. So this is Watchman Campground in the Visitor Center right over here. Um, last time we were here, that was all under construction. It's so fun. So mission one is complete. Mission one complete. We've, we got some sandwiches. Mission two is eating them. Mission two. <laughs> so, so can we get there? Let's get, get to it. Get up into the clouds. Mission two, eat the Subway sandwiches. Eat the Subway sandwiches. We underestimated everything today. Way too ambitious. No idea it would be this much traffic. Uh, we came down here to visit some friends, and I don't think we're going to be able to find them because there's no service down here. I mean, they, they've there's got the, service. There's the bars, fake but... bars that say you got service, but nothing will go Nothing's through. Nothing's loading. So we're so sad that we're going to miss them. We'll catch That's them again. Bummer. They did the Narrows today, so they're probably sleeping in They're probably exhausted. They're probably exhausted. We didn't move for like two days after we oh, did yeah. the Narrows. We are freezing. It, it was took us so that cold. Back warm, because we did it in November. So the water was 35 degrees. Incredible trip. One of my favorite hikes So ever. awesome. Lily says our next mission is eat the Subway eat. sandwiches. Unfortunately, part of number two is finding a parking spot. <laughs> that is gonna be the hardest part of this mission, getting a parking spot at what I believe is a very popular sunset location and looking at all the traffic still in here, it Gosh. might be a little difficult, I don't know. But that's mission number two, point five. Point five. <laughs> Find parking so Lily can eat her sandwich. <laughs> Poor Lily, guy. she's like, I'm just starving. <laughs> this is Canyon Overlook. It's just past the tunnel if you're going through, and I don't, we haven't talked about it yet, but that was an insane tunnel. There's zero lights in there. It was like, it's insane. Pretty but the, legit. The coolest part is that you get these little windows through to the canyon every once in a while. Yeah. So it's pitch black, and then all of a sudden you're like looking out at the canyons. It's amazing. Wish us luck. <laughs> but it doesn't even matter because this is incredible. Yeah. It's just another another good reminder to just go go take your family, go for a drive, and adventure always finds us. It really No matter where we are. It I mean, really does. It, and it finds everybody. As it long does. as you get out there, <laughs> you will find your adventure and you just gotta get out there. Yep. A little bit of a hike. I'm gonna go this way. But I think it's gonna be worth it. <laughs> She's like, okay. please, I just want to eat. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Actually, I don't think it's that far of a walk. No, it's not. I don't think walk. we're doing too bad. No. It's right around the corner. You said you wanted to be out here around six. So we're at 549. The sky, it could be really awesome or it could skunk us. <laughs> okay, so it looked like there's some spots that opened up a lot closer. So I'm gonna try and get back here before they fill back up again. It's a risky move. There's 
a lot of cars going by. They might they might fill that spot up, but I'm just trying to eliminate as much of the nighttime walk because we're probably going to be coming back in the dark. And I'd rather not have the family walking back along the road in the dark if I can help it. Oh, someone's turning around in front of me. I'm going to get my spot. Oh, come on. They're going to get my spot. This truck is not national park turnaround friendly. Oh, that truck is taking my spot. He's definitely taking my spot. What a bummer. Let's put it right here. Okay. Oh yeah. We're in. Well, I didn't get the spot I wanted, but we got closer. Like I said, I just would rather the family wasn't walking in the dark just in case that happens to be the case. And it looks like the sun's coming back out. This is good. Well, let's let the uh, adventure to begin. Only about 163 feet up. Oh wow, they're up there. The sun's coming out. This could be good. This could be good. Yes. The village center, right here. Right here. Look how mammoth this cave is. Wow, this is fun. Okay, this is it. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Wow, love. This is gonna be so fun. Oh yeah, so we're standing on top of that arch, I'm guessing, right now. Uh, yeah. Alright. I'm going to set up a time lapse and... can't actually see it but there's like all these cars streaming down the pass right there I'm getting some really cool photos it's it seems like it's worth it so we ended up staying here in the dark if you've watched our channel before we tend to do this sometimes uh, not really recommended but we get flashlights it's not a long hike back no. and there's railings and everything so I don't feel unsafe as long as there's no mountain lions that are gonna eat us but you can see you can't see the entire canyon is just lit up by the moonlight because the moon is rising it's almost a full moon amazing Jeez, this is what we love this is when the cool stuff happens i don't have a good enough camera honestly to show in real time you know what what we're this seeing whole canyon looks like but I'm, i'll show pictures obviously so you can see it's awesome really really awesome this uh, is a very reminiscent night of being in arches and going to delicate arch oh and gosh. watching the the milky way rise like it's just been really fun to hang out under the stars but there's not going to be any milky way tonight just because of the uh the full moon so it's it's too much light pollution even though we are in a dark sky park we're gonna take some more photos the problem is, is i got a shot i like but the time lapse is going to take so long because <laughs> it's 30 seconds each to get 30 frames 30 seconds each it's going to take a while, but I think it's going to be worth it. Um, even if it's only for, you know, two or three seconds worth of this uh, time lapse. I hope you enjoy it. This is what the girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're keeping warm. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> 
I love You're it. troopers. Let me see if this Good shows job, up at baby. all. I'm getting a better camera system, guys. I'm getting something better so I can, I want to be able to share this in real time. This is just not going to do it. Time for a change. Okay, so this shows it a little bit better than my real camera. This is the iPhone 13. I can't get my hands on a 14 yet. I wish I did, but I don't have it yet. But this is, gives you a little preview of what it looks like in real time. You can see it just lit up by the moon. That's the moon shadow right there into the cars. So over here, over on this side, this is the tunnel. All this black area over here is the tunnel. It is a super long tunnel. But the scene here, I wish you could see it with our eyes right now. The photo does a really good job though. You, the photos are what I'm looking at. Uh, the moon is rising right over that peak right there. All right, so we got two seconds of time lapse right now. I am trying, oh, there it goes. I'm trying to get you guys three seconds. I'm holding out for you guys for a three second time lapse. Another 20 or 30 minutes, and then we'll probably start heading down. Ooh, I can't wait to show you. All right, adventurers, are you ready for the trek down? I can't see. <laughs> I've just destroyed your night vision. We are ready. <laughs> Honestly, without the light, there's a ton, because it's a full moon, there's a ton of light out here. Luckily, I have my night hiking sandals on. If I didn't have these, I would be worried. Oh the problem is, is these rocks are really smooth and there's this fine like sand on everything. Yeah. So if you do this hike, take your time and don't do it at night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is some, what? <laughs> 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 So quiet. Except for us. Right, except for us. It's not quiet at all. So actually it's not quiet. Like that. Okay. So this is the village. The village. The cave. The kitchen is over here. Oh. Over here? Over here. We got the master bedroom bath. Okay. All the way over. This, this, this is, is straight drop. That is that is kind of straight. Straight off. So we're gonna say, wait, no, Dad, can you guys, I still like, build something in here and then have the whole wall like windows? Oh yeah. That'd be so sick. Oh yeah, like Mesa, yeah. Mesa Verda, Mesa. Mesa Verde. Basically, yeah. We haven't done that yet, and I, I really know. want to. I'm really but I'm guessing it's a big version of this. So we're gonna make this that. Why? Because. So actually, the time lapse is, we got as much as we could. I mean, the the traffic really stopped. So. That's a really good question for people. Do you like? That's us. <laughs> she just discovered Echo. Oh, no, 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 no. Like it's loud. It is pretty loud. Hello. Oh, yes. Echo. The FOS is easily amused. Yeah. So, yeah, I literally saw my shadow back there and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> We're a simple bunch of. <laughs> We're simple folks for me. <laughs> Do you like to hike on your own or in a group? That's my question. Okay. Because I think there's a lot of people that like to solo What's hike. More it's like it's like their time to themselves. But I like talking to people, and I don't like being by myself. <laughs> yes. So if anybody's wondering, um, that time lapse was just with a GoPro, GoPro 10, um, set on night lapse for 30 seconds. That's it. Set it for 30 seconds. You can take a cool night lapse. The first ingredients of an adventure, be somewhere you are not supposed to be. <laughs> Check. <laughs> I think we're, we're almost there. We're almost there. Right. Okay, signing off. I hope we make it to the truck. That's the road down there. That's the beginning of the tunnel. That's a rock and that's a tree. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it, but my daughters are really hammering me. Thanks a lot, guys. Okay. Let's get in this beast. No light, careful.
Ah, oh, this is great. Oh. The end of our Zion night adventure. <laughs> All right, back to Panguitch and Paradise RV Park. <laughs> and then Bryce. <laughs>